Good evening, everyone. I'm Jill Wiedemann West. I'm the CEO of People Incorporated Mental Health Services. And I want to thank you all for coming out to the ArtAbility um, art show and more specifically tonight, the ArtAbility um, art a VIP event. Um, we are here to celebrate and cherish our donors and our sponsors that make our work possible. And I can't tell you how happy it ha I am to see all of you and how nice it's been catching up with everyone um, tonight. Um, you know, there's an extraordinary polarity that exists for individuals that live with really any kind of a disabling um, health uh, health care issue, but certainly specifically as we think tonight about mental health. Um, we, the individuals that, you know, have these, uh, these conditions, they walk through life and sometimes it's just really hard, right? It's just hard. Um, even little things are just really hard and it can be um, very isolating. It can be um, just very challenging at a number of levels and, and for a lot of folks, it can be a truly significant burden uh, managing day to day with a health condition like mental health or any physical health condition. There are also significant gifts that are made better by the fact that we create community in mental health and we find ways to support each other. We create pathways to resources and we support and we facilitate joy. And that joy comes from creativity and that is what it is all about tonight, is celebrating the creativity that comes from sometimes incredible challenges. Artability endeavors to do just that, give voice and healing as a complementary therapy in our various programs where folks come to us in hopes of healing and in hopes of moving forward in their recovery. We create community and support through free community workshops that are, that are made available in the public. Lots and lots of workshops where folks can come in and they can find their voice, they can find their community, and they can find their joy in being able to create a written word, um, a, a beautiful picture, um, all kinds of different things. We facilitate joy and creativity that serves to remind us, all of us, that we are more than our diagnosis. We are more than our healthcare condition. We are more than um, what we might think on a day-to-day -day basis as we struggle. But rather, we're complex and we're gifted and we're amazing. If you look at all the art, which I'm sure many of you have had an opportunity to do, you know this is gifted, creative, beautiful, and uh, it's just amazing. None of the work that we do with art, whether it's complementary therapies in our treatment programs or whether it's the workshops that we create um, in the community for folks to be able to attend, um, is something that we get reimbursed for in treatment. Um, and would not be possible at all if not for the fact that we have all of you who care as much as we do about finding joy, about creating hope, and creating pathways to recovery. Nothing that you see here tonight or experience related to this work is possible in any way, shape, or form without all of you. And I just want to thank you for sharing our commitment to community wellness. It means an incredible amount, not just to us, but to the people who benefit greatly from it. People Incorporated is on track to serve more than 11,000 individuals this year throughout Minnesota. We have a lot of wins this year that we're really proud of. We opened up a new intensive residential treatment program in Minneapolis, just a block from George Floyd Square. We are so proud, thank you. We are incredibly proud to be able to bring a healing environment to a, a community that desperately needs and desires 
um, that healing. Um, we have been so welcome to that community and it has been just um, extraordinary becoming a part of, of that story. Our data enterprise growth. We are working very hard at People Incorporated to give voice to data that speaks to the individuals that we serve and what works and what doesn't work for those individuals. The people that we serve have multiple barriers, lots and lots of bumps, lots and lots of reasons why they don't get what they need. Access is a challenge. Health equity is a challenge. How do we do better? How do we do better with our friends where English isn't the first language that they speak? Where they feel um, that, that need to understand how to get to a better place, but want to do that with folks that they believe um, understand who they are and where they're coming from. How do we heal communities? Um, our data enterprise is something we're very proud of because we believe it will start to generate data that will give rise to better and best practices. We continue our work with police partnerships. We've had one for over six years um, in the St. Paul Police Department, and this year we added the Roseville Police. I am so proud of our police departments who say we can do better, we need to learn. We want to find and make sure that the individuals in our community that are struggling with mental health and chemical health are not ending up in the back of a squad car, but rather have options to be able to get the care that they need. The expansion of our Art Ability program and the workshops that we're doing in George Floyd Square with the community, very exciting. Um, I'm betting Tessa may say something about that, I don't know. Um, heads up. Um, the expanded care coordination with our community partners where we're working actively with folks in hospitals and homeless shelters and emergency rooms to make sure that the individuals that are showing up in their, their, their EDs and their, and their doorways are at the right doorway and are going to get their needs met. Um, expansion of our ability to intervene with and provide services in the jail system to individuals who are in jail, secondary to mental health, chemical health, or other issues that, frankly, corrections alone will not resolve. This is just to name a few things that we were focused on this year at People Incorporated, and I'm proud to say um, it is just a few things. Uh, we have uh, an extraordinary appetite for, again, making, creating community wellness and supporting um, equity in our communities. With your support, we are helping people in our community move towards mental wellness. And I'm proud to say that 95% of the people that we serve tell us we did good and that they're better for it. The work that we are committed to doing in creating those pathways to community wellness set the stage for integrated models of care that drive access, that drive equity, and forge workplace solutions that assure that we are going to be here well, well, well into the future. And that's such an important thing because what we know is that it's fragile. It's a fragile system in a lot of ways and we're not going anywhere. More than 500 clients and community members participated this year in our Art Ability workshops, which has a meaningful and profound effect on the well-being of clients and community members. You helped make this happen. Your support in every way that you support us, whether it be financial or talking to your neighbors or letting a friend who has someone that they care about that could benefit from one of our programs know that it exists. Um, I am very, very grateful. You helped do this, and I think, I think we should give ourselves a round of applause for that. I would like to um, take a moment and introduce Tessa, who is our lead teaching artist. Uh, Tessa is just the epitome of commitment to joy and creativity and um, 
has been a part of the People Incorporated Art Ability Program for a number of years in a number of different ways. I think I first met Tessa when she was an intern, maybe, That's or right. a volunteer. Yeah. But anyway, she's going to tell you a little bit more about the program specifically. Tessa, Thank you.